Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video series, I explained how to create a Web GPU triangle with different vertex colors. In this video, I will show you how to create the same triangle using GLSL and its compiler. Again, we will use the Git tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. You can download all the source code used in the last video from this link. Now, open a command to promote the window and run the following command. Git this link. Okay, this will generate a Web GPU 03 folder on your local machine. This folder will contain all the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change the name of Web GPU 03 folder to GPU 004. Rename 4 and CD into it. Okay, at this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code dot. Okay, this is the Visual Studio Code interface. First, we need to close this uh, welcome page. You can see here, the system contains all the source code used in our last video. Today, we are going to create the same triangle as we did in the last video. But here, we will use the GLSL shading language. First, let us open a new terminal window and use the npm install the command to restore the npm package. This installation may take a while, but be patient. Okay, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in the node modules directory. First, let us make some change to the index HTML file from DIST folder open index HTML file. First, we need to change 3 to 4 because this is the first video series. And also, we need to change the H1 title here to create triangle scissors. Here, we keep the carriers element uh, with the ID carriers web GPU. And we also fix the width and the height here. Now, save this file. In the last video, I explained why we need to use WGSL shader and I discussed its relationship with SPRV intermediate language. I also told you we are going to use the official WGSL language in this video series. But you might wonder why we don't use GLSL as a shadow language in the Web GPU API. GLSL has been around for many years. OpenGL and WebGL are all using GLSL as a shadow language. The main reason is that the GLSL is an old shadow language. It does not incorporate all the power and new features of modern GPU hardware, such as compute, shader, and storage buffer. GLSL does not support these new features. So you can think GLSL is a subset of SPRV language because WGSL is equivalent to SPRV language. So WGSL is a superset of GLSL. This means WGSL supports all GLSL features. Therefore, we can write a shader language using GLSL in web GPU applications unless you don't want to use the new feature available in the modern GPU hardware. As shown in this small window, this is a two-step process. First, we use GLSL version 4.5 to write the Cedar code, and then we need to use this compiler 
to compile the code into Spur V binary code. On the other hand, WGSL does not need a compiler because modern brochures like Chrome Canary and uh, Microsoft Edge Canary have a built-in compiler that can internally compile the text-based WGSL shader into Spur V binary. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Here we need to install the GLSL compiler. Use the following code in the terminal window. npm install. This way install the GLSL compiler. Now we need to write the shader code. Use GLSL. From the SRC folder, open the shaders .ts file. In this file, we will keep this uh, WGSL shader code for comparison. Now we need to add the code for GLSL shader. Okay, here is the GLSL shader function. Uh, you can see from this code, the fourth line has a version 450. This means the GLSL version 4.5 will be used in writing the shader code. Compared to WGSL, GLSL code here looks simpler. For example, we don't need to declare the built-in GL position and GL vertex index. We can directly use it, uh, this built-in variable inside the main function without declaring this variable. This is different from the WGSL code. Here you can see, even though this is built-in position and built-in vertex index, but we have to declare first, then we can use this position and the index. That's different. So the GLSL code is simple. The other part of the code looks very similar between WGSL and the GLSL. For example, the, the vertex for our triangle the definition and the color definition is very similar. See from here and here. And also, we pass this output color from vertex shader to the fragment shader, the V color. This is the process also the same as in the WGSL code. Here we have V color. Okay, this is the GLSL shader we will use when creating a triangle with different vertex colors. Now save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to our main.ts file. Here, open this file, main.ts file. The code structure is basically the same as I used in the last example. Here, we only need to make a few modifications to this file. First, we need uh, to import the GLSL shader, GLSL shader from this uh, shader code. And uh, we also need to import GLSL the module, GL slang module from this package. And then we need to call this uh, GLSLAN module with a wait keyword here, const module because this method is the async method so we have to use a bit here next we need here to make the change here we call the glsl shader function not here the code for the WGSL, we directly use what has shader here, but for GLSL shader, we have to compile it. Okay, we make a change. Compile GLSL. Here. We need to do the same thing for the fragment stage here. So we make a copy this code and paste here and make a change this is what has two fragment and also here fragment and save this file 
Okay, or the other code is the same as I used in previous example. This is a procedure to use GLSL Cedron language in web GPU applications. Up to now, we have finished our programming for this example. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bind our TypeScript code in production mode. NPI. Okay, the bound file is created successfully. You can see the bound file is about 1.22 meg IB. This is very large compared to the bound file used in the last video, where it is only about 3.3 kilo IB. This file is about 370 times bigger in file size, which is very significant. The reason is that the bound file based on GLSL need to include compiler-related files, such as the SPRV binary code. On the other hand, bound file based on WGSL does not need to include any compiler-related file, so it is better to use WGSL shader language when building your web GPU applications because it will give you a very small bundle file. Now we can click the go live from this uh, status bar area to open the default Cron Canary to check our triangle. Click this go live link. Okay, here is our triangle with different vertex color. You can see the color change gradually and smoothly from red to green, from red to blue. This is because in web GPU, the color is interpolated over the fragments to produce a smooth color gradient. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video. I will post the link for the source code below this video. You can click the link to download the source code. I will end this video here. In next video, I will show you how to create web GPU point and line primitives. See you next time. Bye.